All right, today we're going to be looking at another update from Elementor version 3.7, and that is a very, very big update to their grid widget. And this is amazing. And if you love bento grids, for example, and you know that we have one on the OO page, and it's exactly on the home page, that was built with some CSS, actually quite a lot, and it was it was necessary to be adjusted for each device. So that is quite a lot of CSS, but this time we do not need any CSS. It's all done in the widget. So let's get into it. Okay. So first and foremost, I want to show you the bento on the OWO website. Okay. So I'm going to go to discover, but this is my homepage. Yeah. And as you can see, we have a bento grid here. Let me just open it up. Oh, no, actually, this is where it is. Yeah. And in this grid, we have containers that have their own heading uh, widget and other widgets as well. But what I want to show you is how, many, how much CSS I had to add. So if I go to the grid, yeah, you see how this is uh, structured basically four columns and one row. And let's go to one of the containers. So the first container, which is this one. Okay, so let's go to advanced, let's go all the way to custom CSS. And as you can see, we have CSS here sent. And we have CSS for tablet view and for uh, mobile view as well. And each individual container has different CSS. So this and this have more or less the same CSS. Let's just go and see. Yeah, of course, it's different a little bit because it's on the other side of the uh, grid column row structure and so on and so forth, yeah? So it needed to be calculated precisely in order for this to work on all devices. As you can see, it looks good on all devices, tablet as well, yeah? But yeah, so let's see this one, for example, yeah. So we will not need this crazy CSS added here because not everyone is, pro is proficient. It was also difficult for me to, to make this. I know a little bit of CSS. But I think what we are having here in Elementor in the new updated grid widget is fantastic. All right, so let's go to our, so we are going to be adding a grid widget on the page, obviously, and I'm going to have this to be full width and I'm not going to explain why, well, maybe I should. If you add a, a boxed container, because this is nevertheless a container, yeah, but the layout is grid it creates two containers actually you don't see the two containers but they are nested so it's a parent container and a child container and you don't want that keep in mind that you build a website with containers and if you have more than let's say 10 containers on the page which probably you have let's say actually you have 20 come to think of that anyway moving on okay i'm gonna set the height of this to be 96 for example yeah and we have it all clear here. We're gonna set the grid outline uh, to be on. We want to see what we are doing here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the columns to be four, yeah? And uh, the rows three. Let's publish this. I'm also going to set the gaps to be five, publish. And now we're gonna add our uh, containers here. I'm gonna drop in a container right here. I'm going to change the container width to full width and I am going to go to advanced and add the padding of 30 right here. Okay. And all good so far. And as you can see, we have a new option here. It's called grid item. Yeah. And this is where the actual magic starts. And look at this. First of all, let me give this a color because it needs to be a little bit more visible. So let's go with green light. Okay. Let's go back to advanced and go to change the column span to two. So right now our container spans on two columns. Yeah. As you know, we have one, two, three, and four columns. Yeah. And three rows, one, two, three rows. As you remember from our structure four columns, three rows. So that is simple and we're going to keep it to one row in this case. Yeah, because that's how the structure is going to be. 
and let's add another container i'm gonna duplicate this i'm gonna just change the color for now yeah and let's go back to advanced and pretty much is the same thing we're gonna leave it like this because we want to have the same structure it spans to two, on two columns and the row span is one yeah that's it and now let's duplicate this but this one is going to have a column span of just one yeah so we're gonna keep it in one container column and a row span of two and let's just change the color so we can differentiate yeah let's see what we have sent okay and let's duplicate again i mean how simple is this it's absolutely crazy how simple it is and let's just go with pink <laughs> and this one let's go to advanced and this going this is going to span on two columns Et voila again duplicate yeah and this one is going to span on one column so it's going to move there yes we're going to keep it at two rows and let's just change the color because this doesn't work very well and let's do another duplication and this time it's going to be underneath yeah and this one is going to span on one column as it is and another one row span and let me just change the color to something else something a little bit livelier duplicate i mean it took me forever to make the, the the home page of the website let's just switch to two keep one uh with css and it was a lot of trial and error because uh, let's face it is not the easiest thing to make work where is the purplish color uh -huh, lavender all right let's do another duplication here and this one of course is going to be one row and one column one column span yeah and let's just change the color and that's it let's just have a look on the front page and there you go it's almost as it should be <laughs> all right so let's add a text a heading here yeah so i'm gonna just paste it i will duplicate this and change this one to one let's change the size of it to let's say three and make sure that everything is centered in the container so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna copy paste all this and um change the heading basically a little bit on each container and i'll come back so let's see how it's looking on the front end voila i think we need to do some amendments here let's just change the layout to be centered on all the containers so it looks proper i would say and voila and this as well and here so it looks really nice and uniform but of course, this is uh, very much up to your own design. Did I fix this? Yeah, and this one. So you will need to use your structure panel a lot for this because as you can see here, it's a little bit tricky to get to the container to edit. And voila, how amazing is this? I mean, of course it took me a little bit more because I'm also filming, but other than that, it would not take you that long. So another thing that I wanted to explain or show you is that, let's just go to the middle container. If you go to advanced, yeah, you have the option to choose any of the column spans, but you can also go custom, yeah? So let's say if I say two out of eight, <laughs> this is a little bit crazy, but imagine this is looks normal, but imagine if you just, do something like this let's see how it looks on the front end basically it looks like this so 
you can play around with this and see where it takes you let's see if we say one here how cool is this and you don't need to use any css i'm sold honestly i'm sold so yeah make sure that you update to the newest elementor version so that you have access to this new updated grid widget if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and I'll see you next time